Hey guys, Big Swear, RoadDrew.com. Time to talk Deutsche Bank. I uh, haven't talked about Deutsche Bank in a while, uh, mainly because other exciting things were going on, as in other banks were about to fail. Uh, Deutsche Bank could be involved with the repo stuff. I'm sure they are, um, but I don't think they're the main cause. I talk about that on my private road timeline article. But right now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is hitting all-time highs. Boom, all-time highs, bubble upon bubble. The, the best analogy was someone calling it the everything bubble. We are in a bubble of everything. Other than the things we should be in a bubble in, which is gold, silver, and cryptos. But we all know it's rigged. 100% rigged. Every day, every trade. This is not a organic move in the Dow Jones. This is Steve Mnuchin, who is head of IT at Goldman Sachs, clicking a mouse and making the stock market go up. And then clicking a mouse and making it go down. It's Trump tweeting out crap about, we've got come to the China deal. There is no deal. There's nothing. It was a delay, another delay. So, yes, we are at, the reality is we're at all-time highs, whether it's rigged or whether it's not rigged. We are at all-time highs, so Deutsche Bank should be at all-time highs. This is as good as it should get. For Deutsche Bank, but no, Deutsche Bank stock is still trading under eight bucks, and they announced Deutsche Bank likely to slash 2019 bonus pool by 20 percent. Now, in the banking world, this is basically telling anybody who works for you on commission, which bankers do, they work on commission, to find a new job, to leave. The best traders will walk out the door if you worked all year saying. They said you're going to get, you know, X amount, say a million dollar bonus. And they only give you $800,000. You hit every target you needed to hit and more. And they only give you 800000 of the million. Yeah, you'd be pissed. They are, they are reneging on their contract. But they have to. They don't make any money. It's your fault for working for a company that's insolvent, especially in the derivative world insolvent. So the 2019 bonus pool of Deutsche Bank is less likely to be impressive as people familiar with the matter are indicating around 20 percent cut due to the troubles faced by the bank during the year the move is in sync with ceo christian sewing's plan to cut costs as part of an ongoing radical restructuring well why didn't they tell their their traders and their deal doers that oh we are cutting costs and your your bonus is going to be slashed at the end of the year by 20 percent they don't wait until the end of the year and then they tell them that is uncool. <laughs> and, and bankers, if they're a good banker, they'll go somewhere else where they're promised to get paid 100% of their bonus pool if they hit their numbers. It's that simple. So Deutsche Bank is shooting itself in the foot. All their good deal doers are going to walk. I would walk. Great article by Seeking Alpha, Deutsche Bank, a deep dive into a deep hole. Deutsche Bank gave up uh, gave an update on strategy on December 10th entitled Deep Dive. It could have well have been labeled Deep Hole for that is what the company finds itself in. While management recommended uh, recommitted to its 8% ROTE target, there was slippage for its ambitious ambitions on revenue. This is significant because without revenue, Deutsche Bank is unlikely to raise wrote much beyond low digits by 2022. Shares trade on 0.3 XP TNAV, but cheapness is an illusion because the company is loss making, and the path to any better re remain anything better remains very hard to discern. I, re I recommend avoiding these shares. That's not a good sign for Deutsche Bank, but it's true. How many times have we heard, "Oh, we're we're going to uh, reinvent Deutsche Bank." Uh, this is the new plan. The new plan takes over from the old plan, and the old plan fails, and then the new plan fails, and the next plan fails. Then they talk about this deep dive presentation. A deep dive into a deep hole. The deep dive started optimistically enough with Christian Sewing stating, quote, In the past few months, we have made significant progress on every dimension of our strategic transformation. We are in line with our plan and even ahead in several areas. And investors could breathe a sigh of relief that none of the key financial targets from July were amended. These include 
hard cost targets for 2019, 21.5 billion euro. You'll get the, the gist of it. Basically, they didn't change their key numbers. However, are they going to hit their numbers is the question. That was about as positive as the message got. Even though we are hardly six months into the plan, the caveat caveating has already begun. Management said that rote target, quote, has become more ambitious, giving external headwinds, particularly interest rate developments in the euro area. Significantly, it also made a small but notable downgrade to the revenue ambition, which is now $24.5 billion of net revenues by 2022 instead of $25 billion, targeted just in July. In addition, management changed the composition of the target, downgrading the contributions from the private retail bank and the asset management division and upgrading the, con the con contribution from the investment bank, which they are closing. <laughs> the private bank is now expected to post no growth in 2022, while asset management is expected to post only 1% growth. The growth contribution from the investment management bank has been upgraded from 0% to 2%. This is bizarre, a bizarre change of stance, and most investors will be flabbergasted that Deutsche Bank is once again pinning its hopes on precisely the business that is currently dismembering while deprioritizing the business it heralded as core to its future just a few months ago. Sadly, it's the sort of randomness in strategic thinking investors have become accustomed to, and it mostly serves just to undermine what little credibility the revenues target had in the first place. <laughs> Not good for old Deutsche Bank. It's a joke. It is just how long... Now, we all know there's backdoor bailouts going on in Deutsche Bank been a lot of talk about them have already gone bankrupt they just didn't tell anybody they're getting bailed out could be but we'll see what happens when the derivatives come due and the derivative market is getting ugly it is getting ugly i expect the derivatives to go sideways at the beginning of next year as in it's time to pay up or shut up the revenue hole is as deep as ever None of this should come as a surprise. As I noted in my last article on Deutsche Bank, the company is in a deep revenue hole. Over the last seven quarters, revenues have been in unrelenting decline, with third quarter 2019 revenues being a full 25% lower than first quarter 2017. The fact that over this period, risk-weighted assets have only fallen 3% and the, average, and the leverage assets by 8% points to a much higher collateral damage. To revenues that had been anticipated in disruption and uncertainty have seen contraction in business the bank wants to keep. Revenue erosion has also impacted all divisions and not just the investment bank where most of the recent restructuring has been focused. That's where they take all the deals they lost money on and they put them into the bad bank. It's still your bank. It's still your losses. <laughs> they just put them into the bad bank so they don't have to talk about them. They will put more into the bad bank. Trust me. It's just a matter of time. Deutsche Bank is a dog. A dying dog. And it is stuffed with derivatives they can't get rid of. And nobody wants them. I don't know what the number is yet at the moment for Deutsche Bank derivatives. But I'm thinking it's up above 40. High 30s, low 40s. And it was in the 50s and 60s. So they are pawning some of their book off on other people. I don't know who. Could be just attrition. It, you know, these things uh, expire within a year, a lot of them. But they always have to roll them over. So we will see what happens on good old Deutsche Bank in the next few weeks and months. But keep an eye on our lovely Deutsche Bank. And by the way, I've been getting some great feedback on the Economist magazine World in 2020 cover. Yes, it is chock full of secret messages. You should go to roadtorua.com, right at the top there, Economist Magazine Word Jumble. Now, this is actually a vision chart, but it is also a word jumble. So connecting the words, for example, to win 2020 Trump. That's an easy one. <laughs> but there are good ones. The, the smaller writing has some, some amazing stuff, some crypto stuff, too. Look for the crypto stuff. So... Print this out. You can print it out right here. It's printer friendly and help Road to Ruta find all the words here. And then I'm going to put them together in a uh, probably a last time it was 50 page 
analysis. So I'm, I'm thinking I can try to do that because there's a lot in here of really exciting stuff. Um, and send me anything you can find. I got all the ones that go across. That's easy. The world in 2020, blah, 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 blah. Those are easy. It's the up, down, and sideways and jagged ways. Yeah, you can go boom, boom, boom. H-O-R-L-D, hold. For example, look at this very bottom one. It says Russia, and it has war, and then it has USA. Are we going to see a war between Russia and the USA? I don't know, but those words are connected. War, Russia, and then USA. Pretty cool. Check it out. Those of you who like puzzles, Stephen Duvaux, get on this one and send me <laughs> send me your analysis. Send it to Bix at RoadToRoo.com. All right? Talk to you guys later.